the key to overcoming any obstacle is to find a way around it. Since 1984, the California Lottery has provided billions in supplemental funding to our state's public schools and colleges. Of course, it doesn't cover everything, but as we see at E.C. Reams Academy of Technology and Arts in East Oakland, it does give them something they can run with. Dozens of kids running around the play yard at E.C. Reams Academy of Technology and Arts. There isn't a lot of room, but the folks who run the place have learned to get creative. Uh, it's very difficult, but if you treat the school like a business, then you find a way. That includes taking what you know you already have and doing it one better. So when the school was looking at a PE teacher using supplemental funds received from the California Lottery, they hired someone who thought to use exercise as another way to coach the kids using English and math. I am a spider that has lost three legs. Yellow, what's your number? Five is right, yellow. Unlike in the classroom, the kids can't rely on a pencil or paper. They have to challenge themselves to problem solve on the fly. And what's your brain doing when it's trying to figure all this stuff out? Like, come on, Christina, let's go. What is it? As if that wasn't enough, they've got to work at it as a team. So I try to teach them to continue to raise each other up as far as their morale. Um, don't do any put downs. Um, and make sure that, you know, you give them the right answers, just tell them it's going to be okay so that they don't get really discouraged. I like that my teachers mix it up a little bit, and it's kind of fun. As much fun as one can have in the middle of a concrete play yard that is smack dab in the middle of a neighborhood nicknamed the Killing Zone. Our children are from homes that tend to be broken. Parents are struggling. Uh, violence goes on day in and day out. They can't sleep at night because of all of the gun shooting that goes on. A sharp contrast to what you see here, where for a few hours each day, this tiny campus serves as a haven from the outside world. But Principal Lisa Blair isn't satisfied. It would be wonderful if we could give our children a broader understanding of life and have more field trips. We tend to do a lot of virtual field trips. Another way to help the kids get a different perspective is to encourage them to walk through these metal doors. This is the school's library, a very impressive space. But think about this, 75% of the books that you see here wouldn't be here if not for the lottery funding. So now they're used to having books in their hands, reading on their off time. Sometimes at lunchtime, you'll see children out there against the wall reading a book because they just wanted to finish the chapter. Not too far from here is Maria's Market and Deli, a longtime lottery retailer. Co-owner Maria Mohammed looks out for the children around the neighborhood and her store. They're the future, those kids. And, you know, it's, it's very important as business in the community to give back to the community. Which is why she's proud to support the lottery and its education funding efforts by making lottery merchandise available to her customers. Some people think, oh, this is my lucky day. I'm going to win something big. And, and when they lose, they feel okay because they know some of that money did go to something that's very important, which is, you know, the schools. Like neighborhood campuses across California, the students at EC Reams should be able to come to school with the idea that this is a place to prosper, play, and learn. Principal Blair says thanks to the California Lottery, there's a better chance that they can. We see lights go on all day, every day, and the love is genuine from the children, and I think that it's kind of cyclical with us as well. And then the other challenges are something that we see that we can overcome. Thanks for sharing your story. I'm Donna Cordova with your California Lottery News. For more information about this featured school, please visit their website.